The quartet was formed 11 years ago when myself and Marie were studying at the Royal Northern College of Music in Manchester. We were actually put together in a group um, on the first day of college by the director of chamber music, who was Christopher Rowland at the time. And that group lasted for four years, and at that point we needed a new viola player, so Martin came over and joined us. And then a year after that, uh, we needed a new first violin, so Sarah came and joined us. And we've been in this combination for about six years now. What appears to me in chamber music is that um, you have quite a, a big responsibility individually but at the same time you work together in a group and uh, the balance between those kind of parameters is something that appeals to, to us I think quite a lot. I think also the, all the amazing repertoire we get to play such an incredible um, uh, amount of amazing music that we get to work on daily. I think also the kind of conversational aspect of it is is well, it's just wonderful because you kind of feed off each other a lot. I think the fact that we're all from um, different backgrounds actually adds a lot to the quartet. Um, we all had sort of different kinds of upbringings, and well, obviously not Sarah and I, but but we did study in different places and. It just brings sort of different uh, points of view about music and sort of ways of training and ways of practicing and rehearsing, which um, I think one always, in music anyway, tries to go abroad and to, you know, to find these different ideas and we just have them, you know, or some of them at least, you know, in the quartet. So it's definitely beneficial, I think. From starting 11 years ago, the first four years were when we were students and I guess our main focus was, was our own studies and the quartet kind of supported that and went along with it and it was at four years in that we decided we'd really love to make a go of it and try and make this our career. Um, so at that point we entered some competitions and, and they went okay for us and that was a good boost I think that helped us along the way. And we've just spent four years um, as, in, as part of a residency in Sheffield with Music in the Round. We were there as a quartet, but also as part of a larger ensemble called Ensemble 360, which was 11 young musicians resident in Sheffield. So that was a really fantastic four years for us to really live together every day and be working every day and, and getting through a lot of repertoire. Competitions are really important while you do them, they're a really good way of going through a lot of repertoire and getting some exposure, um, hearing some other groups, uh, other quartets. And um, But for me, at the end of the day, it always felt not so natural to do competitions. You know, music is not to be compared, um, it's just, you know, a concert is for me what music is about. But I think um, they're certainly great to do um, and as much for for yourself for the quartet to you know as I say go through all this repertoire and also for everything that they offer um, if they go well. There hasn't been any big problems agreeing on repertoire uh, yet. We, we uh, uh, it tends to be quite a straightforward process. We all bring our, our suggestions to the table and then um, it's reasonably qu often quite easy uh, agreeing, agreeing on it. So being part of the new generation scheme is, first of all, an incredible luck and um, kind of an honour. Um, and I think what we're looking forward to for the, the duration that we'll be on the scheme is just um, being able to gain so much exposure, uh, play with some wonderful other artists uh, and um, 
play you know playing in various festivals and places where we haven't yet played and um, get a lot of experience and concerts. I think it'd be it'd be great for us to record as much as we can um, everything that we're working on um, and es especially things that we feel really good about things that we we feel we can really say um, what we want the, in the pieces I think also recording a, a piece you get even closer to it and um, so when you've been through the recording process and you get to listen back so much to yourself and you need to be so clear about what you want to say in that piece I always find that we come away from recording and, and feel better with the piece in a live situation so it's always a great experience to go through that with, with any piece. Thank you.